talking about that, what's happening with the WBA? Because there were there's been stuff going around saying Tony or, or your team are going to protest the result or make some sort of um, representation to the WBA. So what what's actually happening? I think um, Tony's going to write a letter to um, Gilberto Mendoza just just stating that I don't get drops right down the rankings and that I can stay in a maybe a number one spot and and be ready for the the next mandatory spot if not a a, a voluntary shot and be be in line for for something else rather than dropping right down the rankings. You mentioned a possible vacant regular title. I mentioned this on Twitter this morning. That I think that's the most likely outcome. Because then you're in a position where you know Smith goes and has his big Anfield fight, and you maybe get the winner. Yeah. And also, you were the interim champion going into the Smith fight as well. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense. If that was to happen, that was the solution they come back with. A, would you be? Would you have a, a modicum of satisfaction with that? And B, who do you think it'd be against? Who else is up there in the rankings? Uh, Eddie did say something about is it Lennox Allen, the the American? I think yeah. he's American Jamaican, isn't he? Um, but it's one of them things, isn't it? It's like you, you've just gone boxing for the Ring magazine and the, the WBA Super, and it's like we can fight for the WBA regular. And like, listen, Canelo just vacated that title. It's a world title in my eyes, but he gets a lot of stick because there's the regular and there's a super. People think that that's not actually the genuine world title, and it's like, well, it's half like you're just throwing me a bone there. Like, and I appreciate being thrown a bone, but. I've just gone for like the biggest prize in boxing and then it's just like well you didn't quite get that you can have this so it's just you know what I mean it's like you, you go in boxing for the British title and you, you lose a due decision they go well, well don't worry you can box for the English title <laughs> do you know what I mean it's, it's still a title it's still, it's still a nice consolation but it's not actually what you want do you think if you had a higher profile generally more would be made of this. Not that you wouldn't have got the decision against you, but there'd be more of an uproar and people would be pushing more for you to get the rematch, like George Groves when he lost to Kyle Frotch the first time. I don't know, because, I mean, honestly, I'm overwhelmed by the support I've had on Twitter and Instagram. And I mean, y you have y you speak to your team after the fight and you think, that did we deserve did we to win it? And everyone was like, yeah, well, that was our fight. And then you, you question it, but then you get back and... I got back to like 110 WhatsApp messages and looked on Instagram and Twitter and like bombarded with messages of people I don't even know. And you think like, well, that's not just us being delusional. You know what I mean, all these other people have seen it that way and scouts on there and whatnot. And you just think, well, they can't all be wrong. Boxing people as well, just everyone there that you should be sitting there world champion now. And it's, it's, it's gut wrench really, but you can take a lot of, a lot of positive from it and, and it's hard to be down when you're sitting there feeling like a champion everyone's in your ear telling you and you're reading it that yeah you should be the champion